You may be seated. That was correct, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, for congregational prayer this morning, uh, first of all, we need to say that the offering this morning is for Camp Adonai. Um, you all know Camp Adonai pretty well, and if you don't, you should ask me or almost anybody else about Camp Adonai. It is absolutely wonderful, and uh, our big hope, of course, is not only that you and many others would contribute generous, generously to the cause, but also that hopefully we'd be able to run Camp Adonai, you know, uh, to some level this coming summer. That would be super fantastic. So please be in prayer for that. Also, um, I, I, I have to let you know on a more somber note uh, that Joyce Campbell, again, whom many of you know and who has been a, a great pillar in the community of Athens, including uh, a, a tremendous support with VBS and so many other things in this community, uh, Joyce passed away. Um, she passed away uh, just yesterday morning, I believe, wasn't it? Earlier the day before? Yesterday, yeah. She passed away this week, I, I'm sorry to say. So um, please be in prayer for uh, her family, of course, but also please be in prayer for all of those who are going to miss her, um, which is pretty much everybody, I think. Um, she is, like I said, very well known in this community and a tremendous contributor uh, to this community as well. So let us come to God in congregational prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, please be with us as we, as we come to you through the rest of this service, as we worship you in our words and in our deeds, as we honor you with the things that we do and the words that we say, not only today, but throughout this week. Lord God, guide us in all of that, we pray. Lord, please too guide us as well as we listen to your scriptures and hear what you would have us hear this morning. Lord, would your spirit open up our hearts and minds so that we, we would be changed this morning, that we would be changed to be your Sabbath people. Father, we pray as well for this whole world, O oh God, we pray for the tensions in uh, Ukraine and Russia and throughout Europe. We ask that you would be with those political leaders and others who are navigating these waters, Lord. We pray that your, your peace would triumph and your wisdom would reign. Father, we pray as well, closer to home here, for all of those in this country who are struggling with the realities of restrictions and a pandemic that has lasted so long, it feels like, oh God. Lord, would you please, would you please enable us to live with one another in peace and in love? And Lord, would you help us? Would you help us to be understanding of one another? Even, oh God, even, O oh God, as we disagree with one another on so many levels, over so many things, may we nonetheless live with one another in peace and love. Lord, we pray. We pray for Camp Adonai. We thank you so very much for the many ways that it has contributed over many, many years to the Christian lives of many people. We thank you that so many lives have been touched, not just young people's lives, but also the lives of counselors and volunteers and uh, staff. And, and yeah, it's just so good, oh God. 
Lord, we lay before you all of those in our congregation who are struggling with health concerns. Lord, we pray for Jean and her family. Lord, we pray that you will continue to be with them as they, yeah, they watch over Jean. Lord, we pray for your comfort and strength. We pray as well, O oh God, for those in our congregation who are struggling with cancer, who are struggling with depression or anxiety or, or other mental and spiritual and physical ailments. Lord, please bring your healing to them. And Lord, please be with us too. That we may not worry incessantly, but rather that we may live and work and do all that we need to do, resting ultimately in you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.